All right, we're gonna try this Delta charging the Tesla thing. I got 157 miles. 22 Tesla Model 3. Performance, of course. Delta. Delta's almost charged. Oh, I'm missing a little bit, but let's get the cord. Now, I did get this adapter. Plugs right into my Tesla charger, of course, but that's kind of an oddity. That doesn't really come standard, but you can find them on online. Turn on the inverter. That goes on. Tesla's green. Contact. Let's see what happens. Just thinking about it. Got green on the car. There it goes. So we're about 2,000 watts. Oh, oh. There we go. Let's go see what the car says. We've got it. We've got it set to. 90% but what I'm really interested in is all this information up here so it's charging nine miles an hour what if I can what if I can up that at all nope it's locked at 24 which would make sense that means 30 amp outlet so let's put that into UKness so 24 amps. Nine miles an hour. So within that hour, I'm going to get 10 miles. Which, if you live in any kind of big major city, that should be enough to get you to the closest supercharger. So, but, I mean, in a grid down situation, you got no choice. I can charge this off the solar panels, you know, it might take me a day or two, but it's absolutely free in a grid down completely no electricity environment. Do you have to get the neutral bonding plug to trick it into thinking it's grounded, otherwise test charger won't like it much. But man, that's pretty cool. Anyway, 